Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about the Phoenix Radiant Warmer. The Phoenix Radiant Warmer works on the same principles as the Wallaby model, although a few specific controls differ slightly. Radiant warmers use a lot of power, so they should not be plugged into extension leads. And you should plug it on the socket? Plug them directly into the wall with a surge protector. They should be placed with the back of the machine against the wall, away from open windows or direct sunlight. Switch it on, there is a power button at the back of the machine. The Phoenix Radiant Warmer has the main power switch at the back, but there is a second switch on the front to turn on the control panel. So you have to switch it on again. So right now it's showing us a green light. Next the to the switch, a green power icon shows you that the machine is on and using mains power. So the machine has two modes. You can use the machine in automatic mode, usually called servo mode, or you can use it in manual mode. At the moment, it is in manual. So first of all, there is a, a lock button. Lock button prevents the settings being changed accidentally. So to change modes, you first have to turn off the lock. So you press that lock button and you select the mode on the select mode button. So this is the server mode. So that is an alarm telling me that I haven't connected my probe. I need to connect my probe first. When you plug in the probe, make sure that you line up the pins correctly. It is quite delicate and easily damaged. So we are in servo mode. Servo mode is when the machine uses the readings from the probe to automatically maintain a constant temperature. The target temperature that you wish the machine to maintain is at present showing 35.2. And the down one is for decreasing the temperature. You so press the arrows immediately below to raise or lower it. It should normally be set at 36.5 degrees. Once you have set your target temperature, you need to lock it, so that it cannot be altered accidentally. The largest numbers at the top show the temperature measurement coming from the probe. So as long as your probe is attached properly, this shows the baby's temperature. The alarm is going off because the current probe temperature is well below the target. You can mute the alarm in the top right-hand corner. From there, we are going to select it in manual mode. Now let's look at how manual mode works. To switch back, first turn off the lock. Then press select mode and you're back into manual. In this mode, you decide the warmer's output. The machine will no longer adjust the heat it produces in response to readings from the probe. You can see the output level on the bar next to the arrows. So it's measured in, ten, in percentage, 0%, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. So you adjust the output level with the red buttons. The up arrow and the down arrow, which you use it to, to increase the heat or reduce the heat. Each step up represents 10%. It is currently halfway up the bar at 50%. So it's now on 50%. So you can also lock it. Finally, there is another switch on the side of the machine. This is to turn on the observation lamp. 